Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth James Club and welcome to a walkthrough of The Sims Free Play, A Quest for Toddlers Quest. This quest becomes available at level 12. You can complete it after level 12, but it will become unlocked to you at level 12. You have to complete all the previous quests before you can do this quest. All previous quests are linked down below in the description. If you are past level 12 and you haven't got this pop-up yet, don't worry, it is just because you are completing the previous quest. You will have a quest queue and it will be there as soon as you are available to do it. You need to complete the Need for Steed, I think is the one previous to this, and then once you've completed that, you will get this pop-up. This pop-up says, a quest for toddlers. You have a time of two days. Celebrate your infant sim's birthdays and watch as they grow into toddlers. So there will be a limited time prize for this. So if we complete the quest in whatever time, we will just unlock toddlers. If we complete it within the two days, we will win this limited time toddlers dress up chest, which personally I think is worth it. I think there's some cute outfits there. You get like a little robot and a bee. There's a different outfit. So definitely for me, worth trying to complete within the two days. So the first thing that we need to do is to watch a documentary. It's your baby's birthday soon and they'll be growing up into a fully fledged toddler. You should do some research on what's involved in raising toddlers. There's surely some useful info on TV. Watch a documentary on TV. So I've got a two star TV. The documentary is 54 minutes. Let's go ahead and start that now finished watching the documentary, now we need to watch Sunflower Street on TV. Very informative. Next, your sim needs to get an idea of what toddlers like to watch on television. Have a sim watch Sunflower Street on TV. So click back on your TV and Sunflower Street is 8 minutes and 6 seconds. We've finished watching Sunflower Street on TV. The next thing we need to do is to change a diaper. Oh, a great show. Whew, what's that smell? Somebody needs to have their nappy changed. Have a sim change a baby's diaper. So hopefully you have got a baby in your town. Go ahead over to the crib and click on change diaper for 21 seconds. There we go, we have changed the diaper on the baby. Now we need to expand or create a room. Once a baby grows up, sims are going to need even more room. Expand or create a room. So I'm going to expand the room. Obviously, you can create a new room if you want, but just for cheapness, I'm just going to expand a room here. So go into your house section and on rooms. I think I'm probably just going to extend this out slightly because, yeah, that's only 62 simoleons. Like I said, if you want to create a different room or, you know, do whatever you want to do here. Task completed. Expand or create a room. Come out of build mode. Now we need to buy a dollhouse from the children's store. Your new toddler is going to need toys for playtime. Look in the toddler's tab of the children's store on the town map and buy a dollhouse. So go out onto your town map. So just sort of down from the park and the promotions are us store. Here is where the children's store is. Go into it. You will already have built it from a previous quest. And then once you're inside, you've got an infant tab and you've got a toddler tab. And you want to go ahead and buy a dollhouse. There are three different doll's houses. A one star, a two star and a three star. The one star is 7,000. The two star is 7 LP. And the three star is 12 LP. Again, cheapness. I am just going to go for the cardboard dollhouse. But by all means, buy whichever one you can afford or whichever one you want. Once you buy it, it goes into your cart here. And then go ahead and click buy. Do you want to purchase these items? Yes, we do. Buy a dollhouse from the children's store, task completed. Congratulations on your purchase. Your new items have been added to the home store inventory. The next thing we need to do is to have a fancy coffee. Whew, that dollhouse was heavy. Your sim needs a bit of an energy hit after that haul. Have a fancy coffee. You're going to have to go back into a house and then find your coffee machine. Click on the coffee machine and a fancy coffee is 4 minutes 30 with this 2 star coffee machine. We have finished our nice fancy coffee. Now we need to study geography on a globe. If a toddler is going to be running around the house, then you're going to need to impart your knowledge of the world to them. 
What were all the countries called again? <laughs> Study a globe to brush up. Note, you can find globes in the decoration section of the home store. So if you haven't already bought your globe, but you should have because we've had to use one in a previous quest. So you should already have a globe in one of your houses. But if you've put it back in your infantry, then go and get it out now. But mine is over here in this house. Go ahead and click on the globe and we need to study geography for 12 hours. The next thing we need to do is to contemplate life at the lake. Isn't the life of a sim fascinating? One moment they're just a weird dimensional icon hovering over a crib and the next they're a baby sim. There's a lot to contemplate here. Go to the park lake, tap on the ducks and contemplate life. So head back out onto your town map and then click on the park. Once over at the park, whistle your sim over using the sim tracker and then click on the ducks and contemplate life for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Our sim has finished contemplating life at the lake. The next thing that we need to do is to ask statue in park for advice. Your sim needs some last minute parenting advice. Who better to give it than the thinking man? The statue in the park near the chess boards. Ask the thinking man about toddlers. Apparently he knows everything. So the thinking man is over this way. Ignore those Latin dances. They are for a discovery quest. Go ahead and click on the thinking man and ask advice is three minutes. We've asked the thinking man for advice. Let's see if he has anything good to say. Now we need to stare at the park statue. The thinking man decided to have an impromptu staring competition. Stare back at the thinking man. This is a very odd thing to do. Stare for four seconds. He's going to win. Surely he's a statue. We finished staring at the thinking man. Now we need to get serious advice from the park statue. Enough games. Your sim needs serious advice. Talk to the thinking man again. So click on the thinking man. Get serious advice for nine hours and 30 minutes. That is some serious advice. We have got our serious advice from the park statue. Now we need to dance to a stereo. The thinking man says that whenever you're ready to have a toddler, all you need to do is select a baby and tap have birthday. Easy. Celebrate by dancing to the stereo. I think this is the last thing that we have to do in the quest. And once you've found your stereo, go ahead and click on it and just select any action and it will complete straight away. You don't have to actually complete the dance to complete that task. And yeah, there we go, congratulations. You can now celebrate the birthdays of your infants and grow them into toddlers. And congratulations, you've unlocked the dress up, dress up chest for toddlers. You'll find the dress up chest in the home store in the toddlers category. Simply place it in your home and get your toddler to use it to play dress ups. So I will turn my baby into a toddler so we can have a little look at this prize because we haven't got a toddler in the town at the moment. And we also get this pop-up, toddler adoption. Congratulations, you can now adopt toddler sims using the telephone. Next quest that becomes available to us is It's All Going Swimmingly. That is available at level 12. Let's go ahead and check out the prizes. So obviously by completing this quest we've unlocked the ability to have toddlers within our game. You can now, if you click on a phone, you can adopt a toddler for real money for £4.99 or if you're in the UK, but obviously that will be whatever your currency is, wherever you are. The limited time prize is the dress-up chest. Now the first one that you buy is free. If you go into the home store and into the toddler section, you will find it there. You will place down the first one. Um, oh, hang on. Are they always free? Now your toddler can interact with this dress up chest and dress up as four different things and for me this is so adorable, so cute, definitely worth trying to complete within the time limit. So let's go ahead and dress up as a bee first of all. Here our toddler comes and there we go, they are now dressed up as a bee and I think they kind of move around the place like, like the animal that they are. Yes, yeah, see it's flapping, flapping its wings like a bee. Then we can dress up as a panda. And yeah, it's kind of skipping along. That's sweet, so adorable. Uh, dress up as a robot. Let's try that one. And we'll move that around. Yes, yeah, so he walks as a robot. It's so adorable. So, so cute. And um, what else have we done? Dress up as a dinosaur is the last one. So there's four different outfits that the toddlers can dress up in. You can also use a wardrobe to dress up. Look at that. 
That's so cute. I definitely think it's worth it. I would hate to not have completed this within the time limit. You will need a toddler for an upcoming quest. So if you haven't already made one of your babies into a toddler, get baking a birthday cake so you can turn one of your babies into a toddler because you will need one for a quest in a little bit of time. And like it takes 24 hours to make a toddler or to make a birthday cake. And so you don't want to have to be doing that whilst you're completing that quest. So a little tip for kind of for the future. The next quest is the All Going Swimmingly quest. I will put a link down below or on the screen now once I have completed that quest. If you've got any questions about this quest or Sims Free Play in general, just leave them down below and hopefully either myself or another Simmer can help you out. I also have a blog post about the quest if you'd like to go and see it kind of written down and what you need to do. You can go ahead and check that out. But thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out at all. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.